Hello and welcome to the first um, senior year's parent engagement session. This one is on the school system. Um, schools are just like any other organization. We do use a lot of systems to help us uh, run efficiently, run the school efficiently, um, have enough information about our students, etc. But of course, we also use systems um, as a virtual learning space. The session objectives for this particular session, um, we would like for you to learn what the different systems are at our school, uh, what do we use to ensure quality of teaching and learning, as well as the effective operations that I mentioned before. We also would like you to get a first glimpse of the incoming parent portal. Um, we would like to speak more about ManageBack, how we use it and how you can access the different sections. Uh, we'll also give you an example of how we use our Google Classroom. And finally, uh, we'll break off into different uh, sections, sorry, different stations, and we'll help you access and log in. Here's a, here's a quick snapshot of the different systems that we use. Uh, most people are familiar with ManageBack, which we have been using and are using for unit planning, for our curriculum mapping, as well as our gradebook online, and we do share reports, uh, academic reports through ManageBack as well. Uh, we also use ISAMS, which is our school information system. It basically houses all of the information um, on, about our students, about the families, uh, contact information, attendance, etc. Uh, we then use uh, a, a, a Google Suite for a variety of, of uh, different services. We use the Google Drive, the Google Calendars, of course, to stay organized. Uh, we use Gmail as our mail. Um, and of course, we use our uh, the Google Classroom as our virtual learning environment. So what is the Parent Portal? Well, we hope uh, for the Parent Portal to be the one-stop shop. Uh, you will have the option to update your family information, such as your contact details, residential address, etc. Um, you will also be able to check on your child's um, status in terms of absence from school. Uh, you can see attendance records. You can also let us know if there's a planned absence. Uh, you will be able to access your child's timetable both as a static PDF as well as the, um, the active dynamic uh, access showing you where exactly, what class exactly your student, your child has at the moment. You'll be able to view the newsletters and archive the newsletters. There's a, a function which will allow you to see your child's teachers and the contact information and just by clicking on the email address you'll be taken straight to your email client and you can send the teacher an email. You'll also be able to see the daily bulletin and the notices. And I'd like to stop a little bit um, on these. So the daily notices um, are information, that's information, that's those notices that we give to the students every single morning during homeroom. Um, we do publish it through ISAMS and you actually will also have an access to those. So you can see effectively what the students are also uh, uh, are, are being told every morning at school. Um, you will also have access to, of course, the school calendar, school news, and any key events. And finally, there will be links to the operations. So there'll be a link to the bus service. There'll be a link to your pre-order meals, etc. Um, the parent portal will be launching in quarter two. And I should point out that, of course, we will still be using other systems as well. And we use those for different reasons. So, you know, the parent portal and ISAMS does not um, do what ManageBack does. And so there still will be the requirement for you to occasionally log into a different system. For parents looking to access the parent portal, you will see on our web page in the top right hand corner, there is a parent login. Please click on this. Once you have logged in with your username and password, you will be taken to your parent portal main page. The parent portal is extremely user friendly with drop down menus at the top of the page to help assist you with your navigation. The bulletin page will provide all parents with the latest school news as well as archived newsletters from the different divisions. The notices shared with the students during homeroom each morning will also be shared on this bulletin page for all of the parents. This is an example of your child's teaching groups which provides easy access should you need to contact those teachers directly. By clicking on the teacher's name, you will then be able to compose a mail message. We have also provided information in regards to the code of each class and the current composition. ManageBack is a great tool for you as families. You will be able to see your child's classes, the units they're studying and assessment information as well as deadlines. 
If you click on the calendar tab on the left hand side, you'll be able to see deadline information for each of your child's classes. And if you click on one of those colored icons, you'll be able to have more information about the tasks. If you click on the progress tab, you can select the class that you're interested in and learn more about the unit of study. From there, you can click on a specific task and find out about the grades and any feedback that your child received for that task. Please note that we do not keep timetable information on ManageBack. That's been moved to a different platform, nor do we use ManageBack for attendance. If your child would like some help in navigating ManageBack, please ask them to contact Ms. Begg or Mr. Holt. Thank you. Google Classroom is an interactive tool for teaching and learning. It's a tool that teachers can use in the classroom in a variety of different ways to engage their students. As a parent, you can benefit from Google Classroom as well. Speak to your son or daughter's classroom teachers about receiving Google Classroom's guardian summaries and stay updated on what's going on. When you've been added as a guardian on Google Classroom, you will receive an email that looks like this. Click on the blue Accept button. On the next screen, confirm that that is the email address that you would like to use and hit Accept. On the next screen, you will be given a choice. Do you want to receive summaries on a weekly basis or on a daily basis? Make your choice. This is the end of the sign up process. This is the confusing part. Once you have made your choice as to when you would like your summary, the process is over. Feel free to close your screen and be done with it. You will receive an email notification that you have signed up. When you receive Guardian Summaries, they will look like this. They will notify you of what is up and coming and due for your son or daughter. They will also tell you what has not been handed in. It may include announcements from teachers. It may include resources from teachers. It will always vary depending on the teacher and the way in which they use Google Classroom. Let's take a quick tour of what it looks like in Google Classroom from the student perspective. Here's a quick tour of what a student sees in Google Classroom. So this is my design room. Uh, when a student logs in, they have three different things they'll see, the stream and the classwork and people. Uh, on the stream generally are announcements um, and tasks and things that we're doing on a day-to-day -day basis in class. You can see here uh, my students have posted their Google form to get feedback on their current slide design ideas. Um, there's some other things, some formative assessments using Flipgrid uh, and a variety of different um, things that have been announced on the stream. Uh, it will also, also include any of the assignments uh, that have been directly assigned as well as, for example, resources. Furthermore, if they click on classwork, uh, this is where they're going to see the direct um, tasks or assignments that have, been, that have been given out and those details. So for example, um, here's something, here's our uh, Criteria B Strand 1. Uh, they, for this particular assignment, they were given, each given a copy of a document uh, and that document is where they do their work. They would access that here. Um, there's a variety of different um, assignments that given. given. Also, there is a resources tab. Uh, so there, at the, down at the bottom here, there are a variety of different uh, resources. So if they clicked on that, for example, um, they would see that this is a link to the design problem and brief resource. So they're welcome to check that out. As well, there's a people tab, and that includes um, any teachers that are in the classroom, and as well as a list of students that are there. Essentially, a teacher as or sorry, a student as well can access all of their classes that they have by simply going over here and clicking on these three bars and then it they it opens up a tab with all the different classes that they are assigned to they can click on the classes menu and they can see all their classes so you can see all the classes that I use uh, and if I was a student there would all of my classes would be would be here and visible so that is a rough idea of what students would see when they enter Google Classroom